All right, guys. So we got another Lisp command, which actually does amazing job. Like as you can see, we got this property this time, and we have split it into different parcels, like P1, P2, P3, P5, and P6. Okay. Now this command actually does extract the area of each parcel and then present it in a table form okay like as you can see the column first represent the parcel's name and then the column second represents the area of each parcel okay now this command is known by the area tab link to the download is down below in the video description okay let's start it from the uh, beginning you can say I'm going to delete this and I'm just going to draw a you can say random property just like that okay okay by C space I'm going to close it and then I'm going to draw a line you can say like this okay just taking its copies so I can have some parcels like this okay that's good now just trimming these guys so I can have a clean work you can say okay just like that now I'm going to draw uh, some you can say I'm going to name each parcel like p1 p2 you can name them anything okay that's so small so I'm going to scale it just a little bit like that okay I'm happy with that and I'm not doing some professional works does not matter okay and I'm just going to um, name each parcel okay different names like p2 and then p3 okay okay when i'm done with it i'm going to draw a table just type table in the command bar and press enter now let me just type uh three columns no two are okay and then the rows are going to be seven okay i'm happy with seven no problem okay click ok and as you can see there is a table now the table that's a little bit you can say small so I'm going to scale it again just to have a larger table you can say okay now let's just load that functionality you can type upload in the command bar and then press enter and just navigate to the place where you have that list command. I have that on the desktop. So I'm going to specify that and then I'll just click this load. Make sure successfully loaded message appeared here and then click close. Okay, that's done. You can also just type here some things like the property and then let me just say uh, the first column is going to represent the parcels and the next area okay I'm done here now just type area tab in the command bar okay just to activate that list command or functionality now if you don't know what to do look at the command bar AutoCAD is asking to pick parcel number okay I'm going to click this P1 and now if you don't know what to do look at the command bar again pick table cell and i'm going to just click this top one okay as you can see they have just extracted the area of parcel one okay and presented that in the same table okay clicking again p2 and this corner p3 and that corner p4 that one p5 and till end okay just do that and so on okay okay the, the, the number of parcel you have you have to specify that and then just specify the place in the uh, you can say table okay when you are done press enter or escape now as you can see this is pretty amazing okay you can see the column with parcel in its area you can also export this okay into excel just uh, you can say select the table and then right click and as you can see we have export option here now I'm going to select desktop and comma delimited let's click save okay now let's jump into the desktop and here we got the table I'm going to double click on it 
so we can see uh, if it's supported by yeah that's done okay excel does support it you can see each thing we have i mean each parcel with its area and that's pretty amazing and that's it you can download this functionality at this list command link to the download is down below in the video description see you in the next video